Okay, hold on. All right, so I am not recording. Everybody's aware that I'm recording, just so we're good to go. So we got Matthew here. He is not going to sign in. He's, in fact, going to create an account, which is very easy to do because all it needs is your first name, last name, email, and password. Now, with your email, again, if you have a personal email account that you use, I highly recommend that you sign up with that, not your school email account. You might still be able to sign in with your school email account, but I don't know if that's going to end up affecting it down the road once your email account is actually deleted. So people will not be able to share things with you because your school email account is non-existent. So then once he has it, he's going to click, uh, hold on, don't get ahead of me. He's going to click create free account. Once again, thank you. I agree. And then it is now creating his Dropbox account. Now here, this is an important thing to know. Whether you're signing in on your iPod, iPad, whatever it may be, it's going to give you the option to upload your pictures. Not a bad deal, right? Save your pictures. The thing is, though, it's going to save every picture you take, every screenshot, everything. You guys only have two gigabytes, which is a lot if you're saving documents. If you're saving pictures and video, oh, it's going to be eaten up very quickly. So I recommend not doing that, because especially if you take a lot of pictures. So I would just hit, instead of enable in the right-hand corner, click cancel in the left-hand corner. And by default, they always give you a PDF that sort of shows you how to use it. I'm going to actually have Matthew sort of demonstrate that for a second. He's going to click on it. It's going to actually give you a preview. And to keep in mind, you guys need to understand, this, this is accessing it through the internet. This is not download, this is not on your iPad, okay? So if you don't have Wi-Fi and you're trying to click on stuff and it's saying can't bring it up, you're like, what the heck? You gotta have internet. So we have Dropbox to start. So now we just wanna see the document. So if he hits this little arrow in the upper left-hand corner of the document, it makes it full screen. If he clicks on it once again, he has some more options in the upper right-hand corner. If he clicks on those, he, has, he can start saying this is an important document that I want to make sure that I want to be able to find more easily later down the road. He can actually uh, download this. So right now it's on the internet. If you click on this link with the arrow going in the box, yeah. Now we have two options. If he was hooked up to an air printer, he could print it, or he can open in. This is a PDF. So if he clicks open in, go ahead. It's going to bring up all the apps that can open PDFs. So depending on what he wants to do with it, he can open up in any app he wants. So once it's on the internet, this is still on the internet, as soon as he hits like, don't do this, but hits open in Notability, now it pulls it from the internet and puts it on his iPad. Now it's on his iPad. Okay? So go ahead. We're not going to do that. He's going to go back. He's going to bring that arrow back so we can see our folders. Okay? Some other options down here, if you clicked on the photos, the, the photos uh, icon down there at the bottom, this is where you can enable the camera uploading feature. The stars, this would be if he stars any, do, uh, any documents, they show up here. And then in the settings, if we go back into the settings, this shows you how much you've used up. Right now, he doesn't have anything used up. Camera upload is off. Pass lo passcode lock, off. Uh, and any other information in regards to that. So go back to your Dropbox. Once you're in your Dropbox, you see these three dots? Click on that. When you do that, you can upload something, which basically is going to let you upload like a picture or something from your photo album. Or you can actually create a folder, or you can even edit those folders all within the app. You don't have to go to the computer and do that. You can do it right here in the app. But we're not going to do that right now. The next thing I want uh, Matthew to do is actually go to Schoology. So I'm going to show you how this works with Schoology as far as the audio chapters go. Actually, I don't know if it works with that. Like, getting to it. Hold on. I gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. So now he's in his app. He's there. Uh, he's going to go to the courses by hitting the three lines. Goes to courses. He's going to go ahead and select the only class he can select, my class. And when he does, there. if you go into the HuckFin folder, you will see a new link, not to the website. What I have done is I have downloaded all of those chapters as actual MP3 files. I have saved them to my Dropbox folder, and now I am giving you guys the link to access that exact same folder. 
And you guys have that ability too. You can actually share folders with people. You can uh, share single documents with people. So they can then access it. So I'm giving all of you guys the link to access that folder. So if he clicks on the link, it's then going to open up Dropbox within, I'm still in Schoology. Okay, I'm still in Schoology, but it's letting him access that folder of Dropbox right there in Schoology. So I'm going to have you go back up. Okay, I'm going to have you, for just demonstration purposes only, click on Chapter 2. Okay, and when he does, it will not start playing. I think I have my audio unplugged. It will not start playing. I think if he hits, try hitting download first. That's what I did. Yeah. If he hits download, and if you have your volume turned up, I have my volume turned up, I think. Now keep in mind what it's trying to do is it is streaming it, which means it's not on his iPad. He's basically trying to pull it from the internet and play it. Chapter 2. We went tiptoeing along a path. As this is playing, I'm going to have Matthew now switch to another app, maybe the book. No, don't allow. Okay. Oh, it didn't keep playing? No. Go back to the drop, or go back to the file. It's paused. I fell over a root and made a noise. Scratched down and made still. Okay. Miss Watson's big nigger name. Well, it did. So let's do this. Let's go back because this is what it did before. When I did it. Okay, let's go back. Kitchen door. We could see him pretty clear. Pause it. Because there was a light behind him. Okay. He got up and stretched his neck. Pause it. Let's go back down lower left hand corner. Arrow back. So now we're in download or add to my Dropbox. So what we need to do is we need to make sure the file is in your Dropbox to continue playing. The reason why it's stopping is because you're in Schoology. You're not in Dropbox. So what he's going to do is he's going to add to my Dropbox. And then it's just asking you to quickly sign in, not create an account, but sign in. Enter your email and password one more time. I know this seems like a lot of steps, and you won't have to do this every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to sign in the other one. Um, you, don't want, you won't have to do this every single time, okay? So don't think you have to do that. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but the first half was just getting set up with Dropbox, so that's done. So now scroll back up here or tap on that. There we go. Add to my Dropbox, and it's just going to put it right in his Dropbox. So now let's go back to the Dropbox app. Bam, there it is. Now if he hits chapter two, it will play inside the Dropbox app. It's loading it because it's streaming, so you'll need the internet available. Chapter two. Okay, now. We went tiptoeing along a path amongst the trees back towards the end of the widow's garden. Now it's actually gonna be playing as he's reading the book. So he can go back and forth, whatever he wants, pause it. Okay, so he'll be able to go back and forth between the books and have it keep reading to him. Okay, 